Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, it is a great pleasure to be back with you all. Today's video is answering a question that has been asked by many on my Instagram, on my Facebook. I've been replying to many people that have been asking me this question, but then I said, there's always going to be more. There's always going to be a lot of people out there curious about the answer. So instead of answering one at a time, I decided to make this video for you all. And the question is, why can I not pour a spiritual bath over my head? In this video, I am going to explain to you all why you shouldn't pour any spiritual baths over your head unless it is recommended by your spiritual guide in a reading. The crown of your head is where your main spirit resides. If you are initiated, that is where your guardian angel or your main spirit guide or your metat, as they call it in Haiti, resides. It's very important for you to protect it. I'm also always recommending for you all to cover your head if you're going to a cemetery, if you have to go to a funeral, if you have to go to certain places where it's going to be very, very crowded and you're a person that is very sensitive to energy, then you should consider covering your head to protect yourself from absorbing too much. The other reason is that if you prepare a cleansing bath let's say with herbs you do not know exactly if these herbs are in alignment with your main spirit guide or approved by your guardian angel that is why it's recommended that you always should get a reading first and then go by whatever baths is recommended if you feel during the time that you're feeling negative energy around you this most of the times affects our mind, affects our thoughts, affects our memory. We may feel as if our head is in a bubble. You just want to take something and pour it over your head. You do not necessarily have to do so. By taking a cleansing bath, as I always recommend with my jinx removing from the shoulders down, this also removes negative thoughts, any negative energy that we may feel around our head. I have experienced those kinds of energy, that negative energy that makes you feel as if you had a blanket over your head, a, a blanket or a dark cloud over your head that feels very uncomfortable and you want to just um, pour that bath over yourself to remove that. What I do is when I get into the shower, I pour a lot of cool water from head to toe and then I proceed to take my spiritual bath from the shoulders down. Once you take your jinx removing bath or any cleansing bath from the shoulders down, it will remove any negative energy that is affecting you. You do not necessarily have to pour it from your head down. This can cause a lot of emotional mental problems. By pouring cleansing bath with a specific herb that you're not sure if it's in alignment with you. Even though I always say no kind of herb bath should be poured from the head down. If you feel that you need to refresh your head, if you feel um, the itching on the crown of your head, if you feel the tightness on the crown of your head that I have mentioned before, that it feels like if somebody was pulling um, your hair out, the crown of your head starts feeling very tight. These are all awakening sensations that we experience. And the best thing for that is coconut water. Buy a brown coconut, make a little hole in it, and take that water, make sure that it's fresh, and pour it on the crown of your head. That is very simple. And after that, just tie a white scarf over your head and you should start feeling better. You have to protect your head, specifically the crown of your head. That is where your power source is at. That is where your guardian angel resides. That is where your main spiritual guide resides. So you should always protect the crown of your head I always recommend cover your head. Like I said, if you're going to a place where there's a lot of people, I myself decided to go completely short to cut my hair. Aside that I had seen it in several visions, in dreams, I started going shorter and shorter and shorter until I reached this length. And I feel a lot better. Because when I used to go to the beauty salon, sometimes the person that will fix my hair has some kind of energy on them and it will make me extremely uncomfortable there were times that i just wanted to run out of the beauty parlor and, and leave my hair as it was because i used to get extremely uncomfortable i have visited also other places where i would just start dozing off and i couldn't keep my eyes open and 
the reason why this happened is because that person was sucking the energy out of me or if there was some kind of energy also in the location so all these things do affect us and they affect us specifically on our head so it is very important to protect your head be careful where you go be careful what salon you go to your power is on the crown of your head and if that person um like in so many salons they keep their hand on your head and start talking to somebody else or start arguing with somebody else they're just dumping all that on you so you must always protect your head and by this i mean not pouring any baths over your head if you need a refreshing head wash or if you have had a dream washing your head by guidance of one of your guides or Olua, then contact a professional also be very careful who you allow to touch your head there's a lot of people out there desperate to get initiated in the 21 division in santeria in so many religions there's so many people that just bring it on and then comes the problems with their godfather or their godmother or whoever it was that laid their hands on their head if that person's spiritual life is not in order or if it's some type of cranky person you know there's some people that are very happy one day and then moody the next day people that are always arguing these things affect who they touch so the best thing is protect yourself in the sense that you are your most valuable asset protect yourself be careful who you allow to touch your head and ask questions if somebody recommends a bath ask questions what herbs are those and get a second opinion the only baths that I recommend are those recommended by spirits I run everything by my spirits everything every day I ask them what bath should I take today sometimes I feel my head uncomfortable and I ask them what can I pour over my head and they tell me it's best that a professional does it and when I mean a professional somebody with many many years experience and that you have developed uh, a trust with get to know the person so I hope this video answers that question why can I pour a cleansing bath over my head because you shouldn't as I mentioned in my jinx removing video speaking about my jinx removing herb bath you shouldn't never pour any spiritual bath over your head unless your spirits have revealed it to you or unless you have had a reading from someone very knowledgeable in the field you should never ever pour spiritual baths over your head this can create confusion and this can make you lose that connection that strong connection that you have with your loa with your main spirit or your guardian angel it may break that connection completely and if you are clairvoyant you will not be able to see spiritually and if you were clairaudient, you will not be able to hear your spirits anymore. I hope this scares you into not trying it. Protect the crown of your head. Protect your power. If you have enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you. And much, much love and light.